For the first time in his NFL career, former Central Phoenix City standout J.D. McKissick will go to training camp closer to a roster lock than the bubble watch. In his first four NFL seasons, McKissick ran for 402 yards and one touchdown on 88 carries and caught 70 passes for 515 yards and three touchdowns in 35 regular season games. In his fifth season, McKissick ran for 365 yards and one touchdown on 85 carries and caught 80 passes for 589 yards and two touchdowns in 16 games for the Washington football team in 2020. In his first season with Washington, McKissick staked out a role as a third down back even as he led the team's running backs in snaps played and finished second on the team in rushing yards. Washington running back coach Randy Jordan said the team is looking for more from McKissick in the 2021 campaign. I think the biggest thing with JD is he was also a receiver, too, Jordan said, so he sees the whole picture, and his flexibility was really, really important. It's going to be important again. But I think the thing that he has to continue to do is master all the things that it takes for him to be successful this past year and continue it this year. The thing that I've talked to him about is turning those little screen passes, those little 5-yard, 6-yard routes, turn those instead of 10 let's turn those into 50 and 60-yard splash plays. You know, challenge him in that area. One thing he can do is run routes out of the backfield, and you have to account for that, so it's just another way to get the football to a talented guy like JD, and I think that as he continues to progress as a player, he's going to do some good things for us. McKissick left Arkansas State as the Sun Belt Conference record holder for career receptions, and he entered the NFL as a wide receiver. He spent most of his rookie season as a wide receiver on the Atlanta Falcons practice squad. But when he joined Seattle as a waiver claim late in the 2016 season, the Seahawks moved him to running back. McKissick broke out in 2020 as he recorded the 43rd season by a running back in NFL history with at least 80 receptions. Only two running backs with Alabama football roots have had more, Lionel James, Auburn, with 86 for the San Diego Chargers in 1985 and William Andrews, Auburn, with 81 for the Atlanta Falcons in 1981. Washington returns its top three running backs from last season, with no. One back Antonio Gibson and short yardage back Peyton Barber joining McKissick. But Washington still sought to strengthen the position in the offseason by signing two-time 1,000-yard rusher and 2018 pro bowler Lamar Miller as a free agent and two-time Mac rushing leader Jarrett Patterson as an undrafted rookie. Peyton Barber, probably lost a little bit of baby fat the players who could make inroads on McKissick's playing time in 2021, though, a Gibson and wide receiver Curtis Samuel.